live. Holy shit, we are? Yeah, finally. Oh boy. So, I don't know who made the cord that the, the blue snowball mic come with. I don't know if it came with the microphone or not. Cause I, wait, no, it totally did, because this is the one I bought, not yeah. the one that was given to us. If you just plug in the cord upside down, the mic doesn't work. And uh, boy, did I just stare at it for 40 minutes trying to figure it out. And all I had to do was uh, turn the cord around. So how are you, Duncan? It's been a while. We're not going to do the intro? I'm Colin. I'm Duncan. Read the title. This is Power Moves Podcast, episode... 12... Shit. 16? 16, okay. 15? I should know this. Is falling apart at the Anyway, sense. how are you? I'm good. How are 16. you? 16. Just waking up. Did you hear that? That low drone sound? Yeah, I don't know where that came from. I don't know. Anyway, just, yeah, just waking up. For, yeah. Forgot that we agreed we to meet, meet at quite early. 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, that's, that's the schedule of a working man. That's the schedule of someone who stayed up till two painting little miniatures. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Should have gone to bed at nine when I did. I'm not an old... I'm, I may almost be 30. I'm not an old man yet. I just ran out of things to do, so I, I was fucking go to bed. Get a nice, get a nice sleep. There's always things to do. I mean, not really. Not no. for me. I could play more games, but... Yeah, play more games, paint more miniatures, masturbate. Nah. I'd already done that once yesterday. And do it a second time. Well, my roommate, do it as many times. I do it when my roommate's not there, so I can enjoy myself. Once she's there, it's, it's not as fun. Can't get into it. Just lock your door. It doesn't have a lock. And that doesn't stop me. I just mean I can't, you know, I can't go hog wild. It's a, you know, it's a, se- it's a secret jerk. And it's not as fun. Okay. So up to anything exciting? In um, your leave of absence? In my leave of absence? Not really. I watched a lot of anime. Okay. Um... Shit, I'm blanking on what it was. It was just, like, all week, all last weekend was just anime. And I can't remember any of what I watched, but I just caught up on a lot of current... You can keep talking. I just caught up on a lot of uh, what's currently airing. Yep. And I gotta say, um, not really, like, none of it's really all that interesting it all feels kind of samey and boring and i'm not sure if that's indicative of the quality of anime or i don't know what i'm saying could you be going in a phase where you just don't care anymore no because i do care because well because like i but was in it for a while where i just don't care but there are just a lot of anime that are just feel watered down and like they could have gone farther with the idea but they played the safe route well it's... also this whole chemistry between siblings things i get japan has their own kind of thing with it i think it's weird speaking my language duncan no my little sister draws porn and I write the story should needs to you to- bring I, dial I, that how back. How is that a problem? Like, are they, are they fucking? She's like 11. I'm not hearing a no. No, they're not fucking. Well, yet. then I don't see a problem if he's just writing porn I'm, and I'm she's drawing saying, it. I'm just saying, maybe they should extend the gene pool a little more i get she's now how his, how old is he high school so well th- that's why they 15, have to make 16. it his sister because why would he be hanging out with an 11 year old unless he wanted to fuck i don't know it's like welcome to the nhk meets uh, how can my sister be this cute except there's no crippling anything that made welcome to the nhk interesting they've just kind of thrown that out the window see now, 
I got back into watching anime. I mean, so you know, maybe throw you throw you a series to watch. You know, I've been watching uh, Your Lie in April. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to that. I'm not. I can't <laughs> go back. I can't go back to Your Lie. In I April. mean, I didn't watch that many episodes, but I I don't know. It was fun while I watched it, but I have no desire to return to it. But I did get back to Little Witch Academia, which I would did, did you recommend get, did watching. Did you get to no, the Gurren Logan episode? No, that's ah. not until, like, pretty recent. I'm still on, like, under episode 10. Oh, uh, so have you seen Steam, the Steamboat Willie? Oh, I've seen all the stuff from Tumblr GIFs, but yeah. I haven't got to those episodes. Jeez. It's pretty good. An episode I watched last night was just... A Twilight spoof where like they were excited that the 365th volume of Nightlight was coming out. Nightlight? This is a pretty good episode. And I like I like an anime that's treated more like a cartoon of which there's very little overarching plot currently. It's just uh, here's the problem of the week. Yeah. So I don't I mean, I took a month's break between episode three and four. I didn't miss anything, because there's no plot. Yeah, it's just, hey, what kind of goofy situation are we in today? Yeah. Other than that, um... Buy a fidget spinner? No, I didn't buy a fidget spinner. Good. Um, because I don't need one my building's got a lot of kids and i'm starting to see like the packaging just around my building yeah just they're too much of a fucking degenerate to fucking throw it in a trash or recycling bin so they just throw it at the building and then you're like yeah well they get their spinners what do they care about trash there's no trash if you're spinning so before we just get right into it i i, I just need do, do we want to talk about this while we're on Fidget Spinner, or are we just going to... I don't know what you want to talk about. I want to talk about how on Pornhub, Fidget Spinners have, become, have beat out Stepsisters, MILF, Teen, um, just... Has, it's beaten out the, 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 the staples of, uh, of Pornhub. Pornhub. Oh, now, now Pornhub I have to search. ask, have you looked at any of it? Because I don't really know what fidget spinner porn would be but then again it, it i guess it doesn't mean there's porn of it it just means it's the top search yeah. result so you you have not seen any or you're not going to throw yourself under the I'm bus i'm not i'm not going to go to pornhub okay and throw cool i'm on in. pornhub right now okay uh okay let's see doing that deep journalism it's literally just videos of fidget spinners and there's no porn at all <laughs> they just have porn titles like Petite white guy spins sexy fidget. It's it's just him um, spinning. Uh, try not to come. It's just a fidget spinner. <laughs> One thousand mile per hour fidget spinner. Bisexual threesome. Big black cock. It's just three fidget spinners. Oh no, they're fucking. There's a Batman the, fidget spinner. The, well, I didn't say that right. Uh, that's just someone playing Overwatch. <laughs> cock hung hungry fidget spinner. Okay, there's nudity in that one at least. Okay. It's just they're spinning it on someone's ass. But otherwise, oh, pretty and tame. Oh, then they spank it, and then yeah. the guy goes, and the guy the, cuts right up to the guy, and he's vaping, and he's like, dude, what the hell? It's like but, a vine or something? Yeah, pretty tame. Uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. I don't like fidget spinners. And I, I can't say why, because I don't have a reason. I just yeah. don't like them. It's because they're the they're the hot thing. Yeah, honestly, They're probably. the Tickle Me Elmo of not Christmas. Yeah, well, like, you you got one of those cubes around somewhere. No, I don't. I could have swore you did. I could have swore I it's... saw one. The magnet. No, I could have swore you had, like, a clicky cube. Oh, yeah. no, that's just something from one of my friends got me when he... It's like a bubble wrap it's like popper. It's bubble wrap Yeah, popper. see, that's way better. Mainly because, like, if I'm fidgeting, I'm gonna click shit. Yeah. The only problem with that is, uh, as you're pressing it, it makes little noises. Yeah, they get so kind of it. So it kind of pops and pops and pops. 
and it's either based on the combination of buttons you press or based on how many times you press a certain button, it makes a different sound. One of those sounds is a horrific scream. That's good. I like that. So it's basically, you're basically playing with a time bomb. So, like, I get it. We all fidget. Yeah. I, I think in the background of every episode, you can hear me flipping my phone and dropping it. Yeah. It happens every fucking episode because I, my hands need to do something. And I'm always drinking or eating something. Um, But I, I used the fidget spinner the other day for the first time. Yeah. Because, you know, a friend got one. I don't get it. It does not satiate my fidgets. Yeah. Um, I think the fidget cube. Yeah, well, that, that's that, what I'm talking that, about. That would be something. What I thought like, you had, which has, like, light switches yeah. and stuff. Like, yeah, it's... I think that would be more appropriate for, like, that's something I'd be interested in getting in. Well, well I, I talked to someone the other day, and I'm trying to think, what was the last thing that exploded like this? Was it, was it those slap wrist bracelets? That was decades ago. Okay, maybe not. No, those sex bracelets. That's what I'm thinking of. That, that was bracelets. when I was like 12 and 13. There were different colored bracelets and they each meant different things if you broke them. At least this was in my middle school, but maybe I just went... I mean, we... Oh, know, you mean those... You both know... We both know silicone, I went to school in the woods. Those silicon bracelet things. Yeah, and, and they came in like tw- with 10 like, different colors or whatever. Yeah, they, they were originally like a... The bicep... The bike guy, um, Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Sure. He had, like, a little yellow one that was kind of like, hey, yeah, I beat, uh, prostate cancer, I think it was, or some form of cancer. And, uh, it started with that, and then it just kind of exploded, and now you don't see them anywhere. Well, so what I remember is, is they were sex bracelets. And Uh and they were picked up by middle schoolers. Oh, yeah. Who were, you know... What, what, what was it? Green? Yeah. What was when you wouldn't do anything? Green is your oh, safe. I think I got I think I got a virus. <laughs> Trying to look up sex bracelets. Oh god, Colin, on your phone. Um So sex bracelets. Yeah, there, there was this thing called sex bracelets. That's the last thing that I remember that blew up for no real reason. Uh yeah, yellow means you're willing to hug somebody. Uh Pink means you'll give a hickey. Orange means you'll kiss someone. These are all fairly tame. Uh, and then there's like, I think black was like, give head. That's it? I mean, if you're 12, that's, I mean, getting a hug at 12 is pretty, ooh, it's pretty lit. I gotta... Oh, oh no, accidental boner. <laughs> I saw I saw a bra when I was like 12 once. That still sits with me. Um, we gonna stay on this, or can I continue on with my weekly? No, no, go one ahead. One other exceptional thing I did: I finally watched Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it's, it's a good movie. Uh, I'm not saying amazing. I'm not saying you know out of this world. I'm saying it's good. I definitely like the second one more. Oh, that's what you mean. I thought you were referring to the second one. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, the second one's better. Yeah, no. Um, the first one just feels way too chaotic. Yeah, but do you think it's because you saw the fir- second one first? Because like not, I like I'm... the first one, having watched it, you know, years ago when it came out. Yeah. I'm not gonna rule it out, but at the same time, I think it suffers from the problem of it being an origin story, and without it being an origin story, because. They kind of skip over their origins pretty quickly. It's just all them meeting. Yeah. And I think that's, like, a problem with that movie. When you've got to get all the characters to meet in one movie, it feels kind of rushed and congested. Yeah. A little little bit. But, um, I mean, it was okay. Yeah. I don't really remember a ton of it other than, like, the prison break scene. Yeah. It's really all I remember off the top of my head. Um, oh, and the dance-off. There, there we go. That's about it. That was kind of... A, like, it was kind of like action, 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 action. Oh, shit. Everyone's on the ground. And then 
the bad guy starts monologuing and Chris Pratt just pops up and he's like, yo, it's a dance-off, motherfucker. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there, I was like, what is this? Is this, is he serious? I, I mean, in all fairness, I wouldn't be surprised if they do that again to beat Thanos because uh, to anyone who, who read the Infinity Gauntlet comic, if I recall, it's literally, hey, Thanos, look over here, and then someone just takes the glove off, and then he's not really a threat. I, I think Thanos... No, he is a threat, yeah. but he's not unlimited in power threat. I guess, yeah. Um, oh, boy. Talking about Thanos... I don't know if I like the Marvel, like, the Marvel movie. Like, he looks weird. I think it's because we still haven't seen a ton of them. Okay. And, and, okay, so now I can say this. A- after watching Guardians 2, literally my first thing, after watching all the post-credits, which, first of all, there was five, which is too many. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember if I tweeted out or if it's, this is just something I said in passing to the people I saw it with, but I think Marvel forgets he exists. He's the overarching villain of phase one through four yeah and we he's had literally sub one minute of screen time yeah i think maybe we should see him a little bit i mean i was kind of surprised um they introduced the nova core yeah. in uh in the first one in the first one and they're all flying around in ships and i'm sitting there i was like is something gonna happen that when they're gonna introduce Nova? I don't think they're. I just don't think they're gonna introduce Nova. They're not gonna. Okay. Well, because until like, I mean, the hero Nova is only cool because there's one of them. I suppose. When it's an entire like, because Nova's just like space cops, really. Yeah, they're like the Green Lanterns without the uh, yeah. So ability to make constructs. Th- them as a whole are really not that exciting. It's only when there's one left you go, ah, oh, cool. Do you think it'll be John C. Riley? I mean, I hope I would hope so, but I I don't think Nova gets introduced because I I think we'd know by now if yeah. he would. Um, totally unrelated, but I can't help but think about it when we talk. Is I'm like super plugged up on one side of my head. I really fucked one of my ears up this morning, okay. and I, you know how when it's so bad you can tell you're hearing not nearly as well out of one side. Yeah. It's really annoying. It's kind of alarming. Yeah, a little bit, because everything you try to do to fix it, you're like, I don't know if this is going to fix it or just going to make it worse. Have you tried uh, just... Oh, yeah, I, I, I've done all the things, and then I, you know... I, I was looking at the scissors this morning, I was like, do I want to try that? Well, they were like very thin scissors. Oh, no. You know, meant for, uh, you know, manscaping. At least that's what I assume they're for. Um, and I was like, do I really want to shove those in my ears? I was like, no, no, that will definitely make it worse. That would probably kill you. Maybe. I mean, if I was careful, it might not no. kill me. It might just cause permanent hearing loss. Yeah. Um, other than that, I didn't do a whole lot. I, uh, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls 3. Yep, good. Good. Um, I got to Irolith. Irithil. Irithil. And fuck that entire city. It's a cool city. It's a cool city, I'll give it that. But some of the uh, enemies are just complete dicks about everything. Yeah. Um, particularly the... I don't know what they are. They've got like this giant flaming staff with like a almost a star on the top of it. I barely remember. Okay. It's been a while for me. Um, well, I had a lot of souls, and those fuckers have insane range. Yeah, probably. It like, sounds like Dark Souls. I don't... Like, they can just pick you out of a crowd of millions. It's like, oh, there's that... F- there's that shithead. And just pop you up into the air, and then just ruin your day. Yeah. I mean, you're making, making pretty good progress. If I you're haven't there. touched it in a while. No, but still. I mean, probably out of all the bosses I've fought so far, the mini bot, the mini boss that was the worm. 
Oh, in the, the ashen lake. The, the yeah, the smoldering lake. Oh right. With all the crabs and the ballista firing down on you, that ballista can fuck right off. I mean, you just kind of ignore it. You can kind of no, you can't. Let it blow open the hidden passage, and then you just go away. I didn't know about that hidden passage. Oh. I mean, I didn't either. I just found it. It literally, if it just hits a pot of the ground, it just opens up. Yeah, I kind of figured out when I was using one of the uh, ruined buildings as cover. I was like, it won't hit me here. <laughs> it won't get me. It won't touch us. And then the fucking th- the tower just crumbles down around me on the second shot. And I'm sitting there, and I've been counting out the shots the entire time because I'm losing my mind at this point. And I'm like, oh no, there's a third one coming. <laughs> that that whole ruins area is, I mean, it's a callback to an area in Dark Souls 1, and it was the worst area in Dark Souls 1, and I feel pretty confident it's probably the worst areas in Dark Souls 3 too. Because it's just like boring, interchangeable labyrinth, and you're like, you you can get lost not because it's a maze, because everything's textured identically. Yeah. It's it's not a good zone. Um, and the enemies down in the catacombs, they were, f- like, just make giant flying, flaming orbs that fire yeah. fireballs at you. Those fireballs are, as, are so accurate. Yes. They can just pick you out. Yeah. And... I think that that whole area has been my worst experience in Dark Souls up to now. <laughs> I, I, I would... thought the poison for the poison marsh would be bad. No, <laughs> because not only does it have those people that spawn fireballs, not only does it have that giant worm that shoots electricity from its mouth, not only does it have the. Uh, undead that have those two kind of sickle things that come in and instant kill you or poison you if you're not quick enough just the old ancient fire demon the old the old the demon old king de- oh he was a demon. And, and to make it all better the whole zone's optional the, the boss zone's a dead end you don't need to do any of it Which, uh, by the way, I'll, I'll, I'll like, let you in on a little filler. Uh, the next zone we're doing in Bloodborne, also totally optional. <laughs> There's a lot of optional shit in those games. Yeah. Which is how, like... Well, that's kind of something I noticed, because um, when I'd beaten the Abyssal Le- Watchers, um, I think I skipped ahead to... Not the catacombs of Karth, but uh, the ones the I skipped ahead where you f- go bef- the zone where you fight uh, the deacons. Oh, that yeah, I, I yeah, that's no, that's that's Karthus, yeah. Chapel of Karthus, where the fuck it's called, because deacons are deeper in there. Yeah, I beat them, and then I was like, well. No, I, I didn't beat them. I got there and then was like, wait a minute. Wasn't there a zone before this? So I went back to the the Catacombs of Karth, went down through that, uh, fight, fought the Bejew... No. Wolnir? Yeah. No, actually, I did beat the Deacons of the Deep first and then was like, wait, no, I have this entire zone I didn't do. So I went back, fucking got Wolnir. Yep. Yeah. The giant skeleton. That was a disappointing fight. It's it's not great. Like, but the f- leading up to that generated my one of my personal favorite moments of Dark Souls. It's still a a, a bit I have recorded on my PlayStation because it made me laugh. Which is just uh, when you cross the bridge. Prior oh, and to then the boss the... fight, and then it's literally a thousand skeletons, yeah. like to the point where the frame rate just drops Shit to two if you turn around. Yeah, no, I turned around. <laughs> And I look back, and there was a skeleton just reaching me as I'm looking, and then the French... I went to fight them, because I was like, there's no way this this many are, like, active. Like, I think it's just supposed to spook you, so you yeah. run. And then I was like, oh no, these are real. Yeah, no, they're all coming for you. 
Sweetie Swole, I'm coming for that soul. <laughs> you know, I've, I've never heard that, but but I, I like it. It's from Undertale. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> well, it's not from Undertale, but it's a meme from... I was trying to think about that game the other day. I don't know if I ever beat it. Weren't you do it on, on yeah, like I, a I genocide pl- run? I've played it for hours. I don't know if I actually beat it or not. Did you beat Sans? I don't know. I have no idea. No, well, you, I have no you, recollection. You'd know if you'd beaten Sans. I, I know I tried for hours, but I don't. I have no memory if I beat the game. But like, I don't sit and play it anymore. And the only reason why I can think I don't sit and play it is because I beat it. But I also feel like I never did beat it. And you just said, no, that was enough. I yeah. beat it. And then you just called it a day and threw it out the window. P- probably. Because I, I know I just was... I mean, I'm bad at that game. Un- Undyne took me nine hours. Yep. People can beat... The game is only like four hours long. Took me double that to beat one boss. I'm not very good at that game. Well, I'm sure it's four hours long if you... I mean, if you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, or if you're not doing a genocide run. Yes, that too. So how was your week and weekend? I know you you did the... Uh... Oh, you talked about it on the solo pot, the solo cast... I was going to say the marathon. Yep, yeah, I did did that last week. Really fucked one of my legs up. I didn't know it at the time of the recording, but, like, I really fucked up one of my knees. It, uh, it's been fucking with me all week. Oh. Uh, well, I I mentioned that it's hard on your knees, and I already have a bad knee, because I I broke one of them in my past, and I was told then, knee injuries never really go away. Yeah. So if you get them young, fuck you, basically. Pretty much. So... That's been great. It hurts to just sit still now. <laughs> um, what else did I do? Uh, beat Dark Souls DSL, but I think I talked about that last week. Um, just more Kingdom Hearts. It's the only thing. Um, despite bitching about crafting in previous episodes, that's all I'm doing. It's getting crafting material. You gotta get those top tier weapons. Uh, some of it is just bullshit. It's like... It, I think the most ludicrous one... It's a tie for like... Kill these six enemies, but if even one sees you... None of them drop it. And even if they do see you, it's only like a 5% chance they drop it. Or there's one where it's like... You have to use stop on this enemy and hit him as many times as you can before the stop wears off. But also, every hit your teammates hit him, it un- it, subst- it subtracts one hit. And if you don't get at least 40, it doesn't drop it. At all. Can you order your teammates? No. Not- oh. So it's literally just chance that they get stuck on some geometry around a corner. <laughs> so that's been... Most of my week. Uh, but I did watch some movies. And one, I w- one I want to talk about in particular. But uh, I watched The Witch, which was like a really talked about horror movie. Okay. Uh, it's garbage. Don't watch it. I, I did. I it's did a horror movie. Like it. I'm not going to watch it. Um, well, that's the thing. I wasn't. I was told it's so much environment scary and no jump scares, which it totally is. There is no jump scares in the movie. Okay. That I recall. But, like, even the environment wasn't that scary. And it is... It's unwatchable without subtitles. Because it's a period piece in England. And they are very British and using, like, the, thy, though. And, like, they're just speaking in a way that we don't speak anymore. And it's very hard to using follow. Using the Lord's English. Yeah, it's... Oh. It's not It's not good. Uh, but, yeah, I, I did not... I'm in the minority of thinking that movie's amazing. I didn't care for it. Uh, then the, the movie I, I'm going to like shout out to everybody is Hunt for the Wilder People. It's a New Zealand movie. It's very funny. It's like a family film. I don't know. I just enjoyed it. 
it, it was on I saw it on a list of like best movies you didn't see and because I've never heard of it and like it's description is like kid goes to a foster home and gets loved eventually I'm like oh wow that doesn't sound like I'd enjoy it but it's like it's it's super funny did you watch because I keep asking everyone this because I feel like everyone watched it but it just appears to not be true it's made by the guy who did uh, what we do in the shadows which was like that vampire mockumentary no, I didn't watch okay. that. Okay, super funny movie. And this is equally as funny. Uh, like, within minutes, I was laughing. But the one I want to talk to you about was a movie that I got up and watched this morning. Because it was based on a true story with, like, really big quotes. And it's based on a story that you and I talked about years ago. Oh, boy. I gotta Do recall you remember... Something. The, the story about The Watcher in New Jersey. So the movie's called The Watcher. And it's based off uh, these people bought like a pretty nice house. It was like over a million dollars. And immediately were getting letters in the mail like, Did the young blood play in, play in the basement? Or like, All these windows I can see you constantly. The Watcher is coming to get you. This was, like, it was years ago, so I don't blame you if you don't remember us talking about it. I wouldn't have recalled had I not reread the story. And I was like, I totally talked to Duncan about this years ago. But the real story is way cooler than the movie. Okay. Because <laughs> the real story is creepy, and they never caught the guy. They don't know who sent those messages. They still don't know who sent them. And the movie... Uh, I thought it was okay, and then when I re- read it was a made-for-TV movie, I was like, yeah, that explains why it was just like, it was okay. It wasn't... They made the mistake of showing The Watcher, and but they called The Watcher The Raven. The and, Raven? And he looked... I mean, it was just like Jim Sterling in a plague doctor, doctor mask, basically, and I was just like, no, I'm like, it's not creepy when you show the thing. Hmm. Uh, especially when the thing looks stupid. But it does a, a decent job of, like, bringing in multiple characters throughout the narrative of, like, I think this person's the killer. I think this person's the killer. Wait, so he actually killed people? Yes. There, there is a single... Oh, well, there's two deaths in the movie. Uh, so not But a not in the story. No, in the, in the real story, no one died ever. Okay. That they know of. Because one, uh, oh right, the the first letter that was sent in the true story was, "Did you find out what's living in the walls yet?" Which, come on, how do you like? I'm pretty sure they moved out immediately, because mm. you should. But yeah, true story. It, it yeah. Read about the Watcher in New Jersey. It's a way cooler story and much faster to do than watch the movie about it. Okay. Uh, you sure it was me and it wasn't Brandon? No, I'm pretty sure it was you. Because 2015 I would have been here. Hmm. I don't know if I remember that. I mean, maybe it wasn't you. I just remember talking to someone about it. Uh, what else? Um, I mentioned to you briefly, went to a nightclub for the yeah. first time in quite some time. Had a sick arcade cabinet. Yeah, had a Street Fighter 2 cabinet. Which uh, is kind of weird for a nightclub. Yeah, no, it was very strange. And it also had Joust and uh, one joust. other thing. wow. And I, I don't remember what the third one was. Yeah, it, it... The club had an identity problem. It was a very nice it's, place. Yeah, yeah. But it was a nightclub that in one... It was like almost sectioned in half where it was... Or in, thir- in thirds. Okay. Nightclub, VIP bottle service sports and then in the corner Street Fighter 2 cabinet <laughs> so it, it was very strange but I can't I don't know if I enjoy going to nightclubs but I do enjoy watching people dance because nobody knows how to and that includes myself I I I don't think anything anyone does looks good. It's all laughable if you take it, if you just pretend there's no music playing. Yeah. 
The only time it looks like normal is when people are just fucking. That's the only time it looks normal to me. Uh, I had none of that. That might be a surprise. Not really. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, unless it's, like, something you can actually dance to. I mean, I, I was I mean, dancing. a lot of the music is just rave music or music that you bump and I, I will to. say, and now I'm upset, because there was, like, an actual DJ there that I don't... It looked like he was doing things, but I don't know. But I tried to find a track that played that night, and I can't find it, which makes me think he actually did something himself. And I'll, I'll give a shout out to the DJ who I don't know his name. Made me like a Justin Bieber song. Actually, I don't think it's a Justin Bieber song. It's just he sings in it. Oh, it's just a... It's like someone else featuring it's a Justin sample Bieber. Kind of. Yeah. No, no, it's not a sample. Oh. Like, they brought him on specifically. Okay. Where he sings in Spanish. Uh, sure it was Justin Bieber? Yes. Because I remember seeing a video of, like, watch these... Mexican fans cry hearing Justin Bieber sing in Spanish for the first time. Uh, it's it's called like Desposito or something. It's it's pretty catchy. Okay. So, but that's that's about it for for my week. Got got a got a decent amount of news. I suppose when you don't, I, yeah. Both both movies and otherwise. What do you want to start with? Uh, well, I always talk about sorting everything. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck that. I'm just, I'm, and I always jump around my list. I'm literally just going to read down it. It's the, it's the easiest way to do things. Can I get one of my news pieces? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, Evangelion VR. Excuse me? Evangelion VR. Like, you know the Gundam VR arcade things that you go and sit in okay so this isn't something i can use no they're not done they don't tease me like this <laughs> just just tickle yeah. in just a little bit no but evangelion vr i, I, I imagine it's some cabinet in japan yeah and you, they've got the whole plugs like the whole plug uh seat yep thing and it looks real neat it's got a little what looks like to be the dummy system, com like something that, mm, it's not the dummy system completely, but it's just like this little box that kind of reminds me of the big, the dummy system. Yeah. Um, and it's Bandai Namco is just like, hey, you know, those Gundam VR machines, doing good. Let's try Avon Galleon. You know what? I'm surprised it took them this long, really, because Ava is kind of a, a nothing. Like, people get excited when the movies come out, but I don't think any of the newer movies... Compared to Gundam. Well, still, like, does anyone care about Ava? Other than people I, who I, liked I, Ava? I do. No, I, 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 you I, and I, I both yeah. do, but, like, when a new movie comes out, does anyone give a shit other than people who watched Ava? I don't think so and even with the new movies it's more or less like oh my god what are you doing with Ava like some parts of the movie are better than the series some but, parts I, but I am looking forward I still haven't watched 3.33 and it's sitting right above well Black you should Lagoon. because 3 3 3 is when they finally like there's a like here's the stamp of where it's not directly the series anymore yeah so i'm there's supposed to be at least one more isn't there i thought there was supposed to be two maybe two i just remember at the end of all three movies they do a little they say thing. like they say like fan service is coming yeah and fan it, service is coming and i'm sitting there I was like they're 14 <laughs> well they're not all 14 best no. girl isn't 14 misato yeah oh yeah <laughs> she's like in her 30s yeah she's totally fine 3, 3. we can Ooh. we can say whatever we want about her and not be creeps well it'd still be a little creepy but no misato's bae no i agree she, she's bae but still be a little creepy i guess it depends what you said yeah that's about it i th just 
me seeing the uh, Evangelion, like the idea, the concepts for it, and the prototype chair that you'd sit in, and just going like, oh god, oh god, just <laughs> all over my keyboard. Uh, now, I-, I know asking if you have it planned is the wrong word because that would imply savings of some kind. Yeah, but do you have any want to go to Japan? Like, at some point I, at in your some life. point in my life i would love to go to japan yeah yeah I, i'm with you i mean i can't say i'm saving but, away uh, for it right now <laughs> oh, no, it's... i'm gonna be lucky to get the next payday i mean i mean you and i are uh living off bread i mean i it's... don't know how because you have a roommate and pay substantially less for rent yes but uh, we both know i make worse decisions than you yes you do <laughs> poutine at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> no what all what always gets me is it's like i trick myself it because i sp- you know i spend on my credit card a lot uh because credit that's card. what you do because credit cards are fake money yeah but then i pay off hundreds of it at a time so i can buy more things and that's where my real money goes so i can buy more things with my fake money yeah uh, oh, this is what it's like to be an adult. <laughs> but I, I have calmed down. I, I you know, I, I think I told myself no more games. At least until until the fall. fall yeah. With like some exceptions, you know, not crazy. Yeah. It's really just until I can afford to eat not bread. Like I tweeted. Just make your roommate your sugar mama. Oh, yeah, because you... Yeah, okay, so... Because... Uh, not... I know for a fact not everyone who listens follows me on Twitter. I put out uh, a tweet... Oh, shit. Hashtag homeless. I just missed... I just missed a call from my parents. Um... I'm put this on pause. Okay. And I'm calling them back to tell them to call me later... Because I just need to make sure it's not an emergency. Okay. Put it up and hope for the okay. best. And try I, think, to... I, I think we're back. Yeah. All right. Had a little bit of emergency. Situation not a complete emergency. Not a complete. Situation may be an emergency, uh, but I, I, I have my priorities in order yep. and have to record a podcast. That, yep. Uh, I don't remember where we left off. Neither do I. I'm sure we should have lit, stopped the podcast for a second and then just listened. And then played it back, yeah. Yeah, that would have been the appropriate Well, thing I'm sure do. if we were in the middle of something, maybe we'll get an email for yeah. once. Being like, hey, I really wanted to hear the end of that. But uh, I want to just ju- jump right in the news. Sure. Because, uh, you, you know what, in all honesty, just going down the list is probably the best way for me to read it. Because that's in order that the news stories happened. So, oldest news first. Because some of it's so old that everyone's already reported it. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure even you've heard this by now. Resident Evil movies getting a reboot. Oh, it is? Uh, confirmed six already. Jesus. Uh, because all of them have done well. Well enough. Yeah, okay. Why? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know, but it's, I mean, literally no word on who, like, or what, or, like, are they gonna do more Alice? Are they gonna do the games? Are they gonna do a third thing? Now, was there ever a Silent Hill movie? I'm yeah, there's, two, there there's was. two of them. There's two? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't understand, like, because to me, Silent Hill is a much more interesting story. The Silent Hill 1 movie is actually pretty decent. Okay. Silent Hill 2 is not very good. I fell asleep. Like, I don't understand why the Silent Hill... Why there isn't a Silent Hill... Why, what, what reality led us to having a Resident Evil movie franchise and not a Silent Hill? Well, I think it's because Resident Evil is still in the culture's eye. Like, even if you're not a gamer, like... Resident Evil 7 just came out. Yeah. And I'm sure people have seen the name yeah uh where like the last silent hill game that was a major release was it's konami isn't it shit yes uh the last major silent hill release was like homecoming no 
Yes? Maybe. I don't remember. Downpour? No, I think Homecoming was like, maybe. Yeah, one of the two, but either way. Downcoming? That, that was quite some time ago. <laughs> uh, so I, I guess there's just... And, and like I said, the, the other ones were successful enough that you can say... Now, I, I actually... I feel bad because what if these movies are actually good? Mm-hmm. Uh, but most people are already pretty turned off by the first uh, six or seven, however many there were. Uh, so the tough road, even if they do well. A little bit, yeah. But I, I was thinking about this that if they do reboot it, uh, re- like if they did the games. Resident Evil 7 is a great place to start. Oh, yeah. Because Resident Evil 7 is a pretty generic horror movie. I think you change a few things, because parts of that game get a little too Resident Evil. Like, the final fight against... The chainsaw uh, duel? No, that's... I mean, you could horror that up so it's not as intent, as cartoonish. But the final fight against him... Because he, he comes back later. No figure. No, is yeah, he's right. like a giant mess of eyeballs and shit. And like that's too far. No, that's great. No, I think it's great, but not great for a first movie. I suppose, yeah. I think you tone some of the stuff with the Bakers down. But like introduce the Bakers and be like, wow, that was a really fucked up family. And then you just drop in that Umbrella exists. So you start with Resident Evil 7 and then with that can be like this is what umbrella is uh because all of them are kind of goofy i mean i guess resident evil 1's a fine place to start too i just know seven better yeah much more recent but uh, safe to say you're soured on the series i never watched it you never watched any of them nope no I've seen all of them. I think I've seen most of them in theaters, and it, uh, it's not very good. Uh, more movie news, and, and a movie that I know you don't care about, because it's a game that you don't care about. Mm-hmm. Uh, but finally, uh, an update in the direction of maybe this movie comes out. What are you laughing about? Just- Facebook messages. Yeah. Just. Anyway, yeah, it's a movie I don't care about. Uh, Uncharted. Oh, that thing that's been teased for years now. Well, so the last we heard about this was the that the script was the best script ever. And said the writer. Wrote. Yeah. Uh, now it's the guy who wrote the A Team reboot movie. Oh so, no. So like I. I trust him at all yeah but what it sounds like is he's probably been fired because they have rewritten the entire movie because now drake is going to be a child because uh the word on the street is uh that this one of the higher ups at sony uh saw spider-man because you know higher ups get to see it before it's you know available to the public and said tom holland was so amazing as spider-man we're gonna make the uncharted movie a prequel Which, I, I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. I got no beef with Tom Holland currently. Yeah. Because his parts in Civil War were pretty minimal. But I... Because Uncharted, in all three of them, there's like... He alludes to adventures that never took place within the games. Because these are just, you know... It, the games are just if you count Golden Abyss, five different things that he's done. Yeah. But he's done dozens, probably. So, you could totally make the movies canon because, and just be like, this is something we never talked about. But they, him as a kid meeting Sully for the first time is already a game. It's in the third game. So, I'm a little like, maybe don't redo that because it's already been done. But, I mean, if they do it well, I guess. But yeah, it's... I guess, if anything, just speaks to 
how good Tom Holland is as Spider-Man, but this is also to, you know, Paul Marketing said he was great, not to fans, so I... I don't know what that means. Neither do I. <laughs> not a clue. Um... Next, we got, uh, I mainly just added this in the news because it's that kind of tag it on the back end of my Nintendo rant last last week. Yeah. Um, Nintendo is selling the Splatoon 2 Switch bundle box, uh... but just the box. Like, there's no game, there's no Switch, it's just the box, so you can buy just the box. And it's like, Nintendo's officially selling just the box. That doesn't sound right now it's cheap because it's just the box what do you mean just the box it's, like, it's just the box like you know like the box the, it's just the bundle the, box there's just like no if, bundle if in i it. were to buy the uh the uncharted 4 bundle for the ps4 is just the box it comes in yeah that doesn't sound right at all i looked it up myself I think someone's blowing smoke up your ass. I saw the site where you could buy it. Uh, now, it's only $5. And their argument is because for collectors who already have a Switch and Splatoon 2. And they just want the collector box. Oh. Then. I mean, I don't know any collectors that are that hardcore, but... I, like, if it... If they eventually roll out a Splatoon 2 Switch combo box... There's no problem. Yeah, no, when, when they... Clar like, at first I thought it was stupid, but then when they're, when they're like, some people like to collect these things and they already have a Switch, so why would they buy the bundle? Yeah, just buy I was like, bundle. yeah, you know what? I can't get too mad at that. The, the way you were making this out, I was sitting here going like, I don't know what the world's coming <laughs> to, and then... Well, now also, they're only selling it in Japan. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. Because Japan's weird. Yeah. I guess. Like, I, that's, no, that, like, why would you want, like, yeah. I don't know anyone that's that huge of a collector here. I'm sure there's someone. There probably is. Um, uh, more into something you care about. Red Dead Redemption 2. Widely publicized at this point. Oh, yeah. It delayed. Got, yeah. Uh, delayed until the spring. It's supposed to come out in a couple months. No. Um, With how little we saw for it, I doubt. I was sitting there going, like, it's not coming out this year. Well, I, I think they wanted to do, like, the stealth release. Like, show yeah. up at E3 and be like, it's out in two months. Yeah. No. Pull a Fallout. D there's a reason why Bethesda pulls a Fallout. Uh, now, uh, they say spring. Yeah. Um, I feel pretty confident so probably march you get a march may. i'm feeling may and the only reason why i feel may and i went to look it up red dead revolver and red dead redemption both released in may so you figure because i, I figure if they're delaying events. it and may is technically the spring yeah i think we see a may release march may yeah. so i we're looking at a year delay or not a year delay a year from I mean, us i mean again is a delay really such a bad thing? I think it is for some studios. I don't think it is for Rockstar. No, because that game's... People are going to just order... See, uh, see, I'm curious if it will do as well as GTA V. Because I actually don't know how well Red Dead Redemption did. I know it was, like, reviewed there was well like a... critically. Yeah. I but mean, I don't know how many people bought it. It's a Rockstar game. It, I, Rockstar and Blizzard are kind of on that same. Well, that was plateau. also yeah, but that was a different. Like, if Blizzard puts out a game, millions of people will buy it. But I think Rockstar was a different studio back then. Like, even when like Grand Theft Auto Four came out, yeah, it was popular, but it was not Grand Theft Auto Five popular. No, nothing. Unless, like, the only thing that's gonna probably trump Grand Theft Auto Five is gonna be Grand Theft Auto Six. When it un like rolls out, it's online. If they're gonna, I imagine it comes out at yeah. some point in years. And then I'm going to cry because when they shut down the online services for five, and I lose all my expensive cars that I've finally gotten my hands on, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. 
Uh, the only thing I can hope for uh, to for if, if a, a GTA 6 were to come out at some point is that 5 is a last gen game that was ported to current gen consoles. So I would was actually... It? Yeah. It's PS360. Huh. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would like to see them make it for like the PS5, I guess. Like I, I PS5 is getting weird. Like that's not a good sounding count console. No, f- I, yeah, I think five is when it starts to get weird. But I don't know. I mean, t- listening to reports and stuff of like may- maybe we never get there. No, because of uh, upgradable. Well, yeah, it's what many people. I mean, at that point, theorize is gonna happen. If we're gonna have upgradable consoles and never have an- another true console generation, at that point, I might as well just get my PC. Well, it depends how they do it. Oh. If it if it's as super easy as a console, there's an argument for it. Okay. But again, I but I also don't know if it's actually gonna happen because the the. The same sort of people not that long ago said after PS3 and 360, consoles are dead and uh, they're selling better than ever. Yeah. So, uh, when it comes to tech, nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about. Nope. But, yeah. Um, I, I think I'm in the market for Red Dead. Now, it might be coming out at a bad time. But, on the plus side, Rockstar Games is one of those games that everyone would clear away from, so I don't think it'll be a particularly busy month. Yeah. I'm actually, like, knowing everything that's scheduled for the fall, I'm glad that it got pushed back, because... What's coming out in the fall? I couldn't tell you, but... Okay. A lot. Because... Probably. Cause, well, because fall is just the time everything yeah. comes out. I mean, you'll always have your... Usually, usually September, October... There's a big kind of bump, and then November, December rolls around, and there's just a tidal wave of games coming out. Actually, you know what? I hope. You know, I'll, I'll spin this into another piece of news. Uh, I hope Red Dead is is May, and not March, because at the end of February, Far Cry Five. <laughs> That's right. Duncan's hungry. No, I'm not hungry. <laughs> um, which we we gonna talk about shooting Christians? Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, so I said last week that the little teasers that were put out had me intrigued. Mm-hmm. Uh, now the move it, it's not as the villains aren't as bad as I thought because I thought they were going to be white supremacists. Yeah, they're not. Which, in a way, has actually, I think, made people hate them more. Or hate the game more. Because, yeah. I mean, the reality is not every American hates colored people. It's a pretty small portion. But there's a lot of them that are white and like guns. Yeah. And are, you know... No, it was like you were saying... Church people. Um, at my desk after work on Friday, it's like... Everybody, there, there are people that know people that are like this. Yeah, well, I, I was telling you about, like, a friend, like, people I have from home on Facebook that, like, are very much, like, let's go hunting and go to church. And go for a rip. Yeah. Like, I, I know these people, and I think that's why I'm sure people have seen the game's getting some hate because the villains are hitting a little too close to home. Oh, boo-hoo. We yeah, can go no. to third world countries and shoot up mil- uh, rogue militants, but we can't, you know, shoot up white fundamentalist Christians. Well, someone made the point, and I don't remember who, I think it was... No, nah, I, I don't want to credit anyone because I don't want to give someone the credit if it wasn't them. Uh, that it's only fair that Ubisoft do this. Yeah. Because their last game kind of made fun of the left with Watch Dogs 2. Yeah. And it kind of made fun of hipsters. Only fair they make fun of the right. 
Yeah. No, yeah. I, I don't. I don't have a problem with this game. No. Uh, there's parts of it that sit a little weird on me. They didn't when I first saw the trailer. The reveal trailer sold me. Uh, Far Cry Four was one of my favorite games when it came out. So I, I'm, I have, I'm hopeful that I will like this game. Mm. Um, and religious nuts are like the good villains, usually. But in this again was like someone tweeted out something, and I don't know if this is what the tweet meant or if just how I took it. It's a little weird that there's dog fighting. What's that? Well, I don't know many people who are, you know, praise God, let's go shoot ducks, that just have a fighter jet. That's what I mean oh, by dog okay. fighting. Is I, 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 there, there's a clip in the trailer where okay. you're fighting in planes. Okay. And I was like, eh. Isn't there a military base? In yeah, Montana? but, I mean, so, probably. So, I mean, it's not a stretch to say that one of those religious nuts got their hand, got into a military base, stole a few... I mean, I guess it depends how it's handled. Yeah, if it's like one mission because one guy got a plane, okay. But if it's like, oh no, they just have a bunch of planes. See, here's what I don't understand. The U.S. has a rich culture of fanatic nuts and cults. Mm -hmm. So, why is... Like, I don't understand why one going to a third world country and blowing up an entire and committing genocide against an entire people is okay and coming home to your backyard and shooting like well and, and the other thing and then, is it's specifically that it's targeting the right wing who are the people who are a little on edge these days well boo fucking who because pick a, you picked the you picked this well because uh, a lot of people were treating this like this was the first time that you're killing Americans yeah which like then I'd still disagree, but then there's an argument to be made of, like, does this cross the line? But, like, Grand Theft Auto, you kill Americans. Oh, yeah. But the difference is, they're not right-wing. Oh, they, they don't, You know, they don't believe in God. And, and in this game, you're killing people for their religious beliefs. I don't think killing people for their religion... Like, from what I saw, it's like these people are doing some shitty things. Yeah, but they're well. Okay, so the breakdown is there, there's the cult leader called the Father. Yeah. He has an actual name that I don't remember, but there's a quote in the trailer that's something like, "I'm gonna save these people whether they want to or not." Yeah. So it is his religious belief that he is a man from God who's gonna save all these people. So you Wait, are technically killing the Father or the preacher. The Father, because the preacher. The preacher's just... the preacher's a good guy. Okay, because he was that. He's on that your trailer side. Was really cool. Yeah, there's three character trailers that were put out. Um, the bar, the bar, the yeah. There's one. I wrote down all their names, but there's fuck the, it. Well, the there was the bartender. It was an okay trailer. Yeah, I think it was the weakest of the three. Uh, then there was the pastor who was basically upset that someone is taking the Lord's words out of context, and yeah. he's gonna fight them for it. It's a great trailer. And then yep. there's another guy who uh, is strapping a minigun to his fucking bike to his... Uh... And, and, like, it's crazy how much, like, emotion is in that trailer because he specifically talks about, like, refers to his wife's pregnant and he hopes he has a son and he doesn't want to raise a kid with these, you know, fucking people down the street. Yeah. Now, a Talking lot about how his grandfather, how his father, his grandfather and father fought in the war, so he wouldn't have to. And now there's a war on his doorstep, and he's just like strapping a minigun to his plane. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm look, I'm looking forward to that game. But it's all timing. If it comes out at a shitty time, mm. we'll see. Actually, no, never mind. I was gonna say, does that come out in South Park? But South Park comes out in. In the fall. Oh, South Park's coming out? Yep. October something. October 19th, 18th, something like that. Uh, more news. Uh, Zack Snyder stepped down from the Justice League. Yes. Joss Whedon is filling in. Um, I, I guess the right thing to say to uh, literally 
no one who was related to him, and I don't think there's anyone who's a fan of him listening, but, I don't know, my condolences, I guess. His daughter committed suicide. Ooh. Which is why he's stepping down. Ooh. Yeah, it's one of those things where uh, it's like people wanted him to step down, yeah. but not like this. Yeah. Because he, he left due to family tragedy. Fuck. Uh, now, to anyone who thinks, yes, the movie is saved because they brought in Joss Whedon, who made The Avengers, Buffy, and hmm. you know, a ton of other shit. Uh, the movie's done. Like, he's just kind of being the guy to look over it and make sure everything that needs to be finished gets finished. Film some... I think he said he might be filming, like, some extra scenes, but, like, the movie as a whole is done. So to anyone who is misinterpreting this news as the movie is, quote-unquote, saved, saved, no, we're, we that movie will be a Zack Snyder movie. <laughs> so that's What's a that little movie unfortunate. Out? Next year? Okay. So, you know... Yeah, sounds about right. Time, you know, shoot some more scenes and then do post. Um, Editing. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, go more word on the dark universe. The dark universe. It's a shitty name. Uh, now this was talked about for a while. The dark universe. It, it's uh the universal monster verse. It's being called the dark universe. So all the old movie monsters are all going to share a world now. Oh, like Marvel. Okay. Uh, starting with the new Mummy movie that I actually still have not seen a trailer for. Is that literally the Mummy? Yes, it's called the Mummy. No, I mean, is it the female Mummy? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, That's kind of hitting the nail on the head, isn't it? A little bit. Um, and the only, the next two movies they have announced is. In two years, we will get The Bride of Frankenstein. Okay. And then, uh, at some point, The Invisible Man. That's going to be a boring movie. Yeah, probably. But, and then at some point, they'll all fight, I guess, in, in a cage match for custody. <laughs> Ladder match Ladder for match custody. for custody. That's the only way to make that interesting. Yeah. Uh... Did you see the trailer for Castlevania? No, I didn't. Look, looks good. Oh, it does. It actually does. Um, the, the now I should say, I mean the uh, the new anime. I guess it's an anime. I don't know. Oh, is it? I don't know where it was. Netflix. In. Yes. Yeah. The Netflix animated Castlevania rated R. I mean, it the trailer doesn't show off a ton. It just shows you roughly what it will look like. I think I watched it for a little bit, saw the arcade cat like there's I'm hitting an arcade cat. Yeah, it opens up like with a cartridge. Yeah, it opens up with someone playing like a NES or something. Yeah. And the actual footage of the series proper is like seconds maybe. Yeah. No, I did watch that and I sat there kinda of being like kinda of thinking Netflix, slow down, please. <laughs> please slow your roll. Now I've never been a Castlevania fan, but it's a good place to start. I guess, yeah. Um, which, you know, if this does well, I think that would mean we see another Castlevania game, which there have not been any for quite some time. Again, I think I it's of. Konami. Yeah. They still do make games. Metal Gear Survive still has not been canceled. It's... I thought it came out. No. Because there was a trailer for it. Yeah. There's and then trailers it was out. No, no, it's not out. Just as a trailer. Oh. Uh, and I think people have played it at, like, preview events, but no, the game's not out yet. And they still put out uh, PES, that soccer game, because it sells well. PES? I don't know. It's a soccer game. I don't know what it stands for. P-E-S. I got nothing. Um, got a lot of uh, Xbox news this week, which which is something we don't really talk about because because it's out of our ex 
neither of us have we, yeah we don't have an xbox so we don't talk about it but two of these things were I, I mean this isn't a playstation podcast and this news is i mean still means nothing to us but i think it's news well i think the problem is we know nintendo we know sony Xbox oh I, well actually kind of this beast that i have yet to kind of deal with see i actually would say i understand microsoft more than nintendo because nintendo okay. every time i'm like i can confidently say this about them i'm just dead wrong because it's, it's, i don't know that company's a weird company yeah uh so they introduced and I, as far as i know it's out xbox game pass which for ten dollars us a month so okay. it's like 12 or 13 bucks here yeah uh, which it's extra so it, if you're already paying for gold your gold does not cover this this was be that's on, it would be on top like, of that that's fucking i hate that so much um i wrote down here that it's basically playstation now because that way i can explain it better because i know what playstation now is um so to anyone who doesn't know place do you... okay playstation now now is not PSN. No. Okay. What's PlayStation? Same acronym. <laughs> but, uh, so PlayStation Now, to anyone who doesn't know, is a couple of years ago, Sony bought a streaming company called Gaikai, and they're like, well, something's going to be done with that because they paid billions for it. Yeah. Um, and it's basically for about the same price, so much a month, or you can rent games. And I, now I have done both I've done like a monthly subscription and I've just rented games and you just stream PS3 games and it works pretty well it's not really any noticeable lag for me and I don't even have great internet it works pretty well if there's PS3 games you've never played but that's it there's just PS3 games but you stream them, so you're not taking up hard drive space. I guess. I just, I don't like the idea of paying for a service, and then they introduce another service for an extra ten bucks on top of the eighty-some dollars I had paid for a service. Yes. That I, this is getting, this is... No, I, I don't imagine this does well. No. But, now there are some things that the Game Pass does better than PlayStation Now. Okay. So PlayStation Now is only streaming and only PS3. Yeah. Game Pass has everything, everything. including Xbox One games. But it's select Wait, ones. Wait, Xbox One or Xbox Original? Like, Xbox One. So 360, any backwards compatible 360 games, and select Xbox One titles. They didn't say which ones they were, but it's not like the full library. Okay. Because if you could just pay an extra $10 a month to never have to buy a game again, then that would be, I mean, that would put people out of business. Yeah. So it's obviously not going to be, like, brand new games. You're going to have to actually go out and buy those. But because, now I'll give credit to Microsoft, is internet is not at a point where we can go all digital yet. Mm -hmm. it's coming eventually but we're not there yet so you can actually download your game pass games instead of just streaming them similar to playstation now so it's basically a better playstation now but i don't think it's i don't see this doing anything mm -hmm. because any game that people want to play they already own and any new games are definitely not going to be on that service yeah uh, and then also, you experienced this last night, but Xbox showed off Mixer. Yep. Uh, which is basically their answer to Twitch. And it is in every way, shape, and form Twitch. I see literally no difference other than you can co-stream, which is you can have multiple up to four streams playing simultaneously in one window. Um, neat, I guess. Yeah, it was pretty neat, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, you I, actually I, I, watched yeah, it. Yeah, I sat down and watched it for a few hours, uh, an hour, an hour or so, I think, while I was just painting some of my miniatures, and, um, 
when there's action happening on both screens and you're kind of trying to follow it, it, it's hard to follow even with just two screens I don't know how I'd feel about four people playing yeah it might get a little crazy um the quality seemed fine like there there wasn't like I don't know if it's just my computer or if it's... Indicative. Well, does that come from when you're doing multiple streams, you're also lowering the resolution of each stream, I imagine? Okay. That, that's my guess. You, you're not... It would take a pretty significant rig to stream four streams at 1080. Yeah. So, that's my guess. I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm all for competition, but I don't see this going anywhere. Because is it only on for Xbox? That's why I don't see it going oh. anywhere. Uh, PlayStation unquestionably selling way better, and it's not available on that platform. Yeah. So it's just Xbox, and it's just PC. Well, I mean PC, it which probably... it, yeah, no, th sure, it might do something on both those platforms, but as a whole, like I just maybe it becomes a third pillar of like. You get your Twitch, your Ustream, and your Mixer. You you bring up Ustream again, and yep. I'm sitting here going like, "What is this?" When you hit, when you hit, is it the daily motion of? Uh... No, I mean, well, no, it wouldn't be the daily motion because I actually know what daily motion yeah. is when you're being like YouTube but daily like when, motion. You Ustream is still popular enough that when you hit uh, stream on PlayStation, you can stream to Ustream. Huh. Um, but. I mean, I'm surprised you don't know what it is. And if you don't, that means it's way less popular than I thought. I live under a rock, Colin. Fair. But yeah, t Twitch is too integrated. Yeah. Like, there no, are every, every... Twitch partners. Yeah. Like, for them to leave and to go to another service that is only on PC. And... Well, I think if you're playing on something, like, say if you're a PC streamer. Um, it doesn't change how your audience can watch you. Yeah. And but it, it kind of you're an established brand on Twitch. Like, I don't see anyone moving. It's the same reason why nothing can beat YouTube. Yeah. Because it's, it's hard to leave. Yeah. It's, as shitty as it is... It's kind of like World of Warcraft. And any MMO that tries to come up against it is just going to get gr just grinded under just the popula the amount of people that play World of Warcraft. And for all the people that say World of Warcraft is dying, it's not. Uh, well, no. It is dying. But it's far from dead. I don't think it's dying. Well, I, well I'm saying it's dying in that it does not have the numbers it used to. Mm, well, no. But it's still got enough that anyone trying to come up against it is just gonna get I, I destroyed. Mean, like, no MMO is going to be able to trump WoW, because it's just been out for so long, and people are so attached to their characters. I mean, I've been waiting to see it happen. I, I do want to see it happen. I don't. Well, yeah, but you play it. Yeah, well, not in, like, I've been taking a hard break since January, when I kind of was like, I need money. Yeah. And so I started cutting just unnecessary things in my life. And unfortunately, rating was kind of getting... Not that necessary. Well, not that necessary, but I was just getting really stressed out about it. And I didn't like my guild anymore. Yeah. And they were kind of stressing reason, me out. And that and work. I was kind of like, I don't need stress from playing a game on top of the stress from work. So, last bit of news is, uh, there was more to this story than I originally thought. Oh, boy. Which sucks, because even just the original story was pretty shitty. Oh. It was when asked when Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 7 were, oh! were to come out. They said, in three years or so. Yeah, and now we're looking at 2020. Yeah, when... I mean, I don't know if I ever said it on the podcast, but I know I've said it to people that I said, we'll see Final Fantasy 7 this year. Oh! Uh, now, obviously, because it's episodic, I would have just meant the first episode. Yeah. But, uh... 
Sounds like there is no chance for that. And now, not only is it not coming out until possibly 2020 or later, games as a service. Yep, which... So, I, I don't know how to take this. Because they were like, well, it was so successful in uh, Hitman. And then everyone's kind of sitting there and like, but you're tro- you just, like, destroyed the studio that was doing Hitman and are looking for, are auctioning it off to studios to try and get it. Well... Like, it's not a good sign. It, it depends. Okay, so there's two ways to take this. There's the games of the service, the Hitman way, which everyone universally agreed was bad but when the game was done and all five episodes or whatever were out yeah it was a pretty solid game but just rough launch 2020 comes around final fantasy remake seven final fantasy 7 remake comes out then how and it's taken like what how many years 10 well the, seven i they haven't they didn't announce the remake until last year. Okay, so but it's been we've known it's been in the works for a while. No, I, I honestly now if that's if it's three years or so, I think that video when it was announced wasn't being worked on really. Actually, no, that's not true because they showed gameplay. Yeah, so it's probably only okay. That's probably literally everything they had when they showed it. Yeah, so it might have been being worked on for two years now. Okay. Uh, but the other way to take it is the FF15 way, which is more of a problem for Kingdom Hearts 3, which is more my baby than Final Fantasy 7. But if they mean games of service as the 15 way, which 15 just gets DLC every month or two to keep people coming back. If that's what they mean as games of service, that's fine. Well, I think what they're doing with... I think the most disturbing fact of this whole thing was that they're looking on scaling back IPs and just releasing a couple big ones and then using microtransactions and updates to kind of, like, keep the corpse alive. Well, see, that just sounds like we'll put out less games but give more DLC. Yeah. Which, if those games you're releasing are good, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Like, we're kind of seeing with Ubisoft right now. Uh, but the Kingdom Hearts 3 one is, is there was a tweet from an insider who said, Kingdom Hearts 3 will come out in 2018, whether or not it's finished. Oh. Um, which people might, which people say might be another 15 problem, which the same guy who was, the same guy in charge on both projects. They eventually kicked him out to, A, work on Kingdom Hearts 3 because it was announced years ago, and B, the game needed to get finished and put out the door. Because yeah. apparently this guy's too much of a perfectionist, so he just won't stop working on it. He'll keep adding new things to make it better, but you do at some point need to finish a game. Yeah. And uh, so 15 apparently is good now. Yeah, and what I played of it was still pretty good. I sunk you know sixty seventy hours into it. I platinumed it, but um, it's pretty well known at this point that chapter thirteen and onwards was just a fucking disaster because that was the part where they said uh, just slap a I'm finished sticker on it and it's done. Uh, but now it's been patched and fixed. The last three chapters of the game. But, like, I'm not going to go back and play those last three chapters. I already played through the bad versions. Yeah. So, that to me, that's the only bad... That Basically, that is being nice to late adopters. Like, the late adopters get a finished, polished game. And the guys who, you know, give you all the money up front, that makes you go, Oh, looks like we can afford DLC, are the people who get the unfinished game. Yeah. So, that's kind of shitty. Uh, but I mean, like you play a lot of Grand Theft Auto Online, and that's a games as a service. Yeah, they just keep it running. Had a couple updates here and then. Gun running updates coming out. Can't wait to smuggle weapons. Well, and, and as someone who I actually think there's, I think there's been too many games lately. If multiple companies are gonna start step stealing. back, 
make fewer quality games to last longer periods of time as yeah. opposed to here's a new game from us every couple months it could be good yeah could be i mean if we could drop the price back down to something well that won't happen because our the price is bad because of our dollar not because games are expensive i guess <sighs> lucky americans get to pay you know 50 60 bucks while games here are like 93 dollars yeah yeah so uh almost yeah yeah so for us we're almost dropping a hundred dollars on a brand new game so we have to choose like very wisely yeah so that's it for news but uh there was something i wanted to talk about but maybe we'll talk about it next week Okay. And I'll send you the video, so because it would be weird to talk about a subject covered in a video if only I've seen it. But I'll give you the name of the video and the YouTuber it's from. It's a very interesting video. It was right. called, Is the Quest Marker Ruining Games? Oh, yeah, I've kind of been sitting on that going. Uh, by a YouTuber. Watch that. Yeah. Uh, Downward Thrust. Yeah, I, I watched another one of his videos. What was it? I can't remember. Uh... But yeah, we'll talk about that next week after, after you watch the video. It's pretty good. He m brings up some pretty solid points both for it and against it. And I can't say I disagree. I think my biggest problem with some quest... Like, this is, I'm going to be pulling up some of my WoW knowledge here. But back before... Like, the early versions of the quest, say vanilla, they wouldn't... They would just give you a direction or a place to go and they would say go find that place yeah they wouldn't there wouldn't be like any sort of arrow pointing you where you had to go you actually had to kind of look at your map look at the compass figure out north by northeast and then find a cave like there was no direction it was just fly by the seat of your pants and a lot of people hated that because it spent it took hours. Some people apparently couldn't use a map or a compass to figure out where the place are. And this slowly kind of got scaled back with different add-ons like uh, Quest Helper, which would basically point you in the direction, put little glowing bubbles where, like a, a giant outline where the quest area took place. And it kind of like there was at one point where I could sit there and be like okay for this quest i have to go this way take this path find like just think of it like i knew the i knew the stranglethorn valley like the back of my hand yeah at one, at one point because i had slogged my way through the raptors through the murlocs through the trolls just through the alligators just trying to find a bloody flower that I found out was in the complete opposite direction. Yeah. And by the by the time I had finished that zone back in vanilla and BC, I was just like, I know, I know, strangle. Like, I I was that grizzled veteran just sharpening the machete and people would be coming. Are you the tour guide? It's like you don't go into Stranglethorn Valley. So, so this doesn't just cover uh, the like go exactly in this direction stuff yeah. it also talks about like in towns and and i know for a fact i'm guilty of this like most recently in horizon because i think that's the last like open world rpg i played uh i would look at my map and if i didn't see uh like a quest mark you just leave do you know how much I, in that town i looked around none of it yeah i go oh there's nothing from here leave yeah no unless there was like um, a, some sort of quest marker you wouldn't pay attention to the zone you wouldn't pay attention to the npcs you wouldn't pay attention to like the world you were in you were just looking for the next i was just looking for the video game yeah which is kind of a shame because i've done that in the witcher 3 because like there have been moments where it was like oh man the architecture the city the people this is all really interesting and then there are moments where it's like two o'clock in the morning, and it's just like, just give me the quest. <laughs> just, just I want this to be ended. Just give me the quest. Well, I think I might 
like it because the you now the only game I've, I've played where it didn't have a quest marker it is No Man's Sky because it's not really a quest it's just get resources build your ship to leave yeah to go get more resources to also leave that planet but I actually had fun with that I, I, I you know I enjoyed it enough uh, but also, No Man's Sky was not as intricate as uh, game worlds are today. Yeah. But I, I saw someone in the comments of, the, of that video mentioning that you can turn off the quest stuff for The Witcher. And I've been telling you that I, I might pick that game up soon. I don't know if I actually will get around to it. But if I do, it, I'm it, curious about turning off the quest it's a, stuff. It, it's, it's a girthy game. Like, Well, no, that, that's why I don't know if I'll ever get around to it, but... Ooh, ooh, sex on a unicorn. 10 out of 10. But that's uh, it's another episode in the bag. Did we have any mail or did you check? Uh, no to both of those. No, I, I checked before I came over. Okay. Uh, and there was none then. Other do than... we want to do a hypothetical? No. <laughs> um, yeah. If you you want to let us know what we forgot what we were talking about before we paused it, you can send us an email, remind us, and maybe we'll finish the story. Uh, no, we won't. No, we won't. Maybe we will. We'll forget about the story completely. Unless we get an email about it. Yeah. Uh, but that's PowerMoosePodcast at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Metal Gear Whale. Duncan is Append Gray. Um, I always... See, now I've finally remembered which gray you are. Mm -hmm. But then your Twitch is and wrong. your Twitter both spell Append differently. Well, because one's the correct spelling and one's the wrong spelling. <laughs> I should have just stopped with one's the correct spelling and then that would have insinuated that the other one was incorrect um i i think on twitter it's two p's i guess and twitch is one p yeah yeah so duncan is a pen gray a p p e n d g r a y yeah it's probably easier to just find him through through me probably because metal gear whale is a lot more you can't fuck that spelling up. <laughs> uh, you can check us out on the Twitch if you're interested in us playing live for some reason. Um, which reminds me, we're supposed to play after this, and I kind of forgot until just now. Yeah. What time is it? It's 12. Oh, boy. We'll play, we'll play for a little bit. Yeah. Um, be, be, because we need to. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Um, try yeah, we'll try and get a little bit, but uh, yeah, our twitches are well. Actually, I guess because we can talk about because both the games we're playing will be that for a bit. If you want to watch us play Bloodborne live, that is on Duncan's Twitch at append one. That's append with one p, a p and d one. I gotta figure this out, <laughs> and. If you want to watch us play Snake Pass live, that is on my Twitch, and that's Power Moose Colin. <laughs> because I made a new Twitch when this whole thing started. Uh, but I also own many other Twitches for various reasons. <laughs> because you keep forgetting your account information? No, it's because one of them I just wanted to give money to a cute girl. To Paige? Yeah. I love you, Paige. <laughs> 